And welcome to another episode of Qasa Sulat Fal. My name is Samira and I'll be keeping you company for the next hour. This is our special time where we get to learn the fun way. We read stories, we watch cartoons and we learn about everything around us. Come a little closer, hold my hand. Let's go to that special place where we have so much fun. Let's learn about Islam and Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Let's dream about Jannah and find ways to make Allah happy. Today, children, we have a friend in studio. But first, let's go for a quick break. Welcome back, children. Look, we have a guest in studio. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam. Oh, mashallah. And what's your name? My name is Mizo. Mizo. We're so happy to have you in studio with us, Mizo. And Mizo, tell me, how old are you? I am 12. You're 12 years old? Oh, mashallah. And you're so cute. And I love your hairstyle, Mizo. Yeah. Who did your hair? Um... My mom. Your mommy did your hair, mashallah. And did mommy do your little tiny beard and your eyebrows and eyelashes too? Gee, it needs a trim. It does need a little bit of a trim, but it's so cute. I love it. Children, we have little Mizo in studio with us today. And Mizo, I'm going to be reading a story. So would you like to read with us? Gee. Insha'Allah. All right, children, this story is called The Little Star. There was once a tiny little star about the same size as a mosquito. The star lived in space next to its parents, which there were two enormous stars. The tiny star was very curious and always wanted to know what was going on. She wanted to travel around and see everything herself. And so her parents told her that she was too small to go off on her own and that she would have to wait. One day, the little star saw a blue planet. The planet looked so lovely. It was so big. It was so bright. But... The little star forgot Mummy and Daddy's rule. She went to get a better look. She flew so far and so fast that soon she got lost. She didn't know what to do. She didn't know how to get back home. When she arrived, she saw there was a blue planet. It was Earth. The animals saw her and thought that she was a bright little firefly. Everyone wanted to catch her, so she flew away as fast as she could. She was frightened and hid herself under a sheet. Seeing a sheet moving, everyone thought that maybe she was a ghost, and so they sped off. They ran off terrified. The little star now knew that she was in trouble. She didn't know what to do. She saw a dragon. She was very scared. She saw a cat. She didn't know what to do. She saw a dog and she was scared too. Luckily, she was a very little star, so quickly she escaped them all. She cried for a while, but then night fell. As the night fell, she looked around and went as high up as she could. She saw in the sky a little star, but as she got closer, she saw it wasn't so little anymore. It was a big star. It was her mummy star. Her parents were searching everywhere and they finally found her. Alhamdulillah. Mizo, what do we say when something good happens? Alhamdulillah. 
Masha Allah, that's right. We say Alhamdulillah. The little tiny star found her mummy and daddy, but she learned a very important lesson. Never to wander off on her own, no matter what happened. She knew she was always to stay close to home. Mizo, did you learn a lot from that story? Yes. Most importantly, I learned that you have to listen to your parents and listen to what they tell you. If you do not, you will end up going on the wrong path. That's right, Masha Allah, and well done, Mizo. I love that. That sounds so good. Always listen to mommy and daddy, or else you'll go on the wrong path. But ah, oh, we've come to the end of another show. Did we have to? Oh, I'm sorry, Mizo. Will you come again soon? Gee, I hope so. I really enjoyed it here. Oh, Masha Allah, and we enjoyed having you too. Don't forget to email us on Samira at itvnetworks.tv. Until next time, fi amanillah, assalamu alaikum, and bye. Boom, boom, boom.